Hello everyone, this is David Vidal 23 and welcome to the Mandragonscape. Today we're going to be drawing in October 52, the week 5 prompt has been released and it is fish. So let's do some nice drawings today. Uh, I have pencil today, uh, but I'm just want to mark more or less the, sp the space I'm going to be drawing in this area. And I really enjoyed last week drawing with these uh, Unipin uh, liners and I think I want to do the same this time and go directly through 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 the line for the sketch okay so the if you watch my last Inktober uh, it was very nice and that drawing directly with uh, with this pen so I want to try again and let's see how it goes like this, so as I said, it is fish. I'm thinking about doing a little bit unconventional and different thing. As soon as I saw the prompt, I thought something like this could be interesting for today. Looks like a bat. Bad fish, like from a gang or something, that I want to can do kind of a sketch like this, and the guy, the guy is walking forward. Here we can do hands in the pocket, and I think I'm gonna go for yeah, get the big boots with the laces. It's like a bit like punk style as well. <laughs> yeah, something like this is nice. As you can see today, this drawing it looks faster. Um, it was very nice the other day, as I said, with the with the Ariel, with the Disney drawing, and how <coughs> I was able to do the sketch and a little bit of color, uh, quick as well. And I thought for today, uh, let's do maybe a quick drawing, and uh, yeah, something like this is very very nice. So we want to make sure. To show that these guys are dangerous, so typical cuts. This is a color from the code, like in the Grease movie, that all of them are very cocky guys. A little bit like moto style. Okay. Looking good. Maybe this one we painted a little bit blue later, I'm not sure, but gonna be some basic lines as well. And as I said, it is fish, but this is a gang, so we want to do different guys. Different guys, different sizes, to kind of a little bit of character design, a little bit of kind of uh, group, teenager, bad guys, maybe looking similar, and you can even do a little bit of character to them, like this one. Can be something like this. can have one eye that is white. He lost the sight because how he's so big this one. I'm, I'm not doing a specific fish, you know, I'm drawing from imagination today. I'm doing something new, something different and uh, have some the gales there to breathe. Could have them there on top of the head, something like this. 
I'm gonna make a nose as well because we are doing humanized animals and uh, yeah so let's do this big guy like this could even have this one, could even have a tail, it's like a guppy maybe and as well the same, we do the same, kind of is walking like the other guy This one can have maybe like a jumper zipped, zipped up. Mm, and it would be nice, for example, now that we are doing these kind of bad guys, it can be nice if we do this hand, it's gonna go in the pocket so it's easier for this shape because we don't have much space here. But in this one, we can make like he has like a club or something there, like a pipe because they are a very bad gang of of fighting fish yeah that, that's the thing, it's fighting fish, so let's do this I don't know, I used to have aquarium when when I was younger and I had this this fish called fighting fish that you could only have one in the aquarium because if, if you put another one they will see each other and they are very territorial animals so they will fight until one of them dies and uh, maybe it's something like this it could be nice so let's do like it has this, this is a very small fish like this shape like kind of rectangular shape with the head like this in triangle and then it has a very long tail you, hand, you find them in many colors and maybe can take as a reference a little bit like that like making like a chicken like a chicken, like a rooster tail, but it is actually fish so this guy can have the weapon of choice here This is kind of a little bit of expressive drawing, quick drawing, quick sketch. Okay, I'm just trying to find like maybe a pose that they are coming forward to me. With the looks, with the faces, the eyes narrow or with the eyebrows upset like, like this. Like they are kind of looking for trouble. And uh, yeah, just the pocket as well. They could even have here uh, a very dangerous fish dog it is coming with them. Something like this it can be. You can make it like the like um, whopper in in Pokemon, like the Pokemon that they put now uh They put now, I don't know if it is from from one of the new versions of Pokemon, this kind of, of of new color for him, new style. I thought it was shiny when I found him, but it's actually a... a, a, a I think from another a region of the map, so you can do something like this as well. And as you see... As I explained the other day, using these pens, no need to think too much about the drawing, this is just a sketch. If it is something nice, you can use it for a final, uh, of to paint or to move into digital as well if you want, a scan it with really nice camera or actually doing a, doing a nice picture with a good camera as well. And, uh, and if not, this is just for playing and to practice a little bit of drawing. This teaching tober I'm using it as well for for practicing and have loose drawing. And yeah, it's looking very nice. These two guys. Okay, it's looking very nice. And let's add more. A little bit more of bad guys here. 
So how I'm working today is basically I'm trying to think about movies that I watch like uh, Nemo or things like this that you have different type of fish the, or kind of find different shapes like circle a little bit more oval here and then rectangle here and have this type of kind of I'm making like a fish like flounder in in the area of movie okay and then try to do some different uh, approaches like okay this one uh, for example I'm gonna do it with glasses like this okay those are the gales that I said that I, in these designs for these guys how I'm putting long necks and uh, jumpers I, I wanna make them on top like a little bit alien as well so it can be something like this this one I think I fancy doing yeah, like this. Can use the bell shape to to depict that we are using here. Uh, he's wearing a kind of a bigger and more baggy kind of bag. This is more like leather tight. This is like a jumper. This is like baggy. And let's make the arm here that he is kind of saying there. I make the mouth like he's doing like he's calling someone there. Then I can do here kind of the hand like he's calling you like he's asking for two probably asking for two pieces of takoyaki like like um, Takoyaki in Japanese is uh, octopus balls, really famous uh, food there. They come before asking for chew, like yeah, he's saying there's something. The guy, the jumper as well is like this, a little bit baggy on the backs, on the on the arms as well, and as you see, it will sip here. It's cold under the water. It's cold under the water, so <coughs> let's try to do the same kind of shape like and this one as well with very very tall boots probably. I think it's about variety. I made this kind of leather black, so this one can have leather trousers like this with the leather boots as well. Let's do like even a chain here like this. This is quick sketch. As you see, I don't know how long we've been already, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, drawing these characters and we have the sense of what are they doing, what, how they feel, so these bad guys. looking very nice. Let's do this kind of black as well, like this. This is the fish gang. Mm -hmm. yeah, looking very nice. Fancy adding I think a little bit more of detail here on this kind of kind of a, a fish tail like this yeah that should be good just some nice teeth there as well and I think uh, I think something like this it could be Could be very nice for what we want to do today. As a quick sketch, the fish. This is the chain, as I said, and obviously, this is going to be Mike in the middle. Mike is the boss. He says where we go, where we don't go, 
who we fight, who we don't fight. He's the little guy, but very vicious and very evil. And it needs some bubbles because they are underwater. I love to do bubbles. If you see my drawings, in many, many of my drawings, you have these bubbles. Like, like people, they are kind of breathing underwater. And, and I really love it. This is Mike. This is Bolly. Bolly is the big guy, strong, always carrying something to hit the the other gangs and the other bad guys uh, with something. They are always fighting with other other fish uh, around the the coral reef because the area they want the area, the territory. These are fighting fish, fighting fish. A little bit of this kind of punk and leathery and. Uh, motorbike uh, style yeah, let's add a little bit of tone here as well this is Mike, that is Bolly and this is Guile Mike, Bolly, Guile and then Bubble Bubble is down there They are fighting fish, they need so mine needs to have to have as well a little tail there. And then guile as well. Okay. This is looking very nice. I don't think I want to paint today uh, this type of drawing. I want to do something more sketchy but what I can do is I think I should have here a type of grey I got these nice pencils the other day so I can try to test them haven't you know that every now and then I bring you some some different pens I have these this Lira Aqua brush duo that it has kind of uh, brush on one side look it does like this it is very very uh, faint color whitish and then in this side is more like a pen if you can see there more like a pen it's really nice i tried it on the on my wall and i have a paper on the wall that i, I try the pens to see uh, how different they are from from the other and i have five or six for quite some time there in my in my back but I didn't use them yet so I want to see if this that is kind of the faintest color it will work to do a little bit of yes this will work just to do a little bit of shading you know if you know what I mean like this can do this hair that is not hair actually because the fish these fish don't have hair is kind of a, you know it can be like this it can look very nice Just to make one one ton, one tone of of a, of a shade here on the side. As the ball is done, kind of bone, and then Mike the boss. I would say as well, we paint half of the body. So when you're trying to do some shadow, some shadow, some shade a little bit, pick one side. Say I'm gonna paint this kind of half of it, and it does the job. So but try to fix always the same part kind of I'm doing left side okay I'm doing left side that means because the light is coming from this side okay a little bit from from this area so all of this stays white stays with light and the other side I paint with the with the gray pen to do the tones okay like this and now we're doing gale I want gale to have this kind of more pale or white top so I'm not gonna paint the whole thing, just the side, the trousers, yes, the boots as well, this fish tail as well, a little bit on the floor, to have some shade on the floor, some some shadows there, and it looks yeah very nice. We you need to find some angles like this for example. If the light is coming from this side, you will not see it because the hair is covered in and the arm is covered in, so you can paint it a little bit and here a little bit as well, or even here. Because he's the shadow of, of the friend, of the leader. Okay, things like this. If you kind of pay attention to this, uh, it can pop the drawing and make it very nice. 
I think it's looking good. I'm happy with the result. I have this that is a little bit higher tone. Let's see if it looks nice. It's a little bit fainty here. Yeah. I'm just gonna eat some small, small details because it's strong. It's stronger than I expected the tone. So we just to kind of align around it to make like a second line of shading or shadow there. And as you see, only with one line it makes it pop. Does look very nice. You try, try, try different pens to see what uh, what type of pen you find nicer or better for your practice. But for me, when I'm doing something like this, black and white, look, just with a little bit of touches like this, without even have to press, it gives. I'm gonna paint the inside because the arm is covering, so the inside needs to go as well. It will be like this. It has the shape, really nice shape here, uh, to work, you see. I, I created just only three levels, the white, the middle grey, and the darker grey, only with a couple of strokes with the, with the pen. And that is very nice. Today we just have a mini story, this is like a small little gang of uh, fighting fish uh, going underwater. Other days we will have more story or longer, but for today I think this one looks very nice. Then we have bubble there. We don't need to forget about bubble because I made it him small. The tail as well here, a little bit of detail for the tail. All of them have the bubbles there as well. And what I'm thinking, what I could add to make it a little bit nice as well, it's maybe a little bit of this pen. I told you I got this one, no brand, the other day can have just a little bit to kill the the plain background like this. Kind of make something there, like there is something. We don't need to do much, just maybe something like this. give the impression that they have like a different tone as well here at the back. I'm thinking something nice it could look as well. I'll show you what I'm gonna do now. Something like this is good. Very faint, very nice. So as I said we are underwater so what we could do is this can be very nice as well. Some water plant, some anemone there. Other bubbles, extra bubbles around. This can give a little bit of of, of uh, understanding of where we are. Okay, can be something like this. Is enough, just some irregular lines. It will do the effect that we want. See, a couple there, a couple of here. You can do maybe even like a little. Little crap there that is kind of jumping a bit. Kind of some lines like there is the current of the water without pressing. Okay, if you try to do this without pressing, I'll do some lines like this. And I think we kind of got it. We got these bad guys underwater looking for trouble everywhere and I think this is gonna be the drawing for today okay uh, this is as you already know David Piedel 23 David Piedel 23 you can say it as you want and this is the Mandragon's Cave I hope you like the drawing for today and the mini story and the use of black and white how we did it today with these new pens and yeah this is uh, in October 52 uh, prompt number five week five fish and we have the gang here, the gang of uh, fighting fish. I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you in the next one, okay? Thank you very much. Bye.